Anthony, Blake, and Dylan, the cold sliced. Ooh. Welcome back to the cold slice. We are in our Christmas era. We're doing a Christmas episode, two of them actually. Because God damn it, Christmas is the best time of the year. <laughs> Swear to God. Uh, we really updated our set. As you guys can see, we have a little bit of snow <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in a basement. <laughs> it's a blizzard down here. <laughs> it's a blizzard yeah. down here. Blake's wearing a onesie, which it, he looks fantastic in. Yes. I'm showing my front and my back, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's double caked up over there. Yeah. Got a little... Uh, what? Got a moose knuckle going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's the worst. What did, what are the, What is this called? Starts with a G. Garland. Garland. Yeah, we have some lit Judy up Garland. Garland. Yeah. For our listeners. So I know. I know if you're listening, you can't feel the Christmas spirit as much, but we're all in sweaters. We've really done up the place. So <laughs> my ass looks good. Yeah. His ass looks pretty good in that adult onesie. I don't need it's not an adult onesie. <laughs> no, no, no. This I, is a kid's onesie. Like <laughs> I squeezed yeah. into it. It's like an autistic fifteen year old. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Why is that too accurate? <laughs> Yeah, got the tism. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past me. I think I'm suspicious of my pen spectrum. <laughs> you think that pendulum's swinging your way a little bit? <laughs> yeah. When you start relating to too many memes and then Instagram starts feeding you the autistic memes and you're like, yeah, yeah, that's me. And then you're like, oh no. Ah, it's my rabbit holes start going down. It's yeah. the same thing with ADHD. Uh, you know what though? I, I have gotten those on my reels pretty pretty often recently and I'm like, I wonder why. Do I? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, dude. Do I have the the ADHD? Is it? I don't think you do. I don't think so no. either. No, Anthony and I do for sure. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. You do not. Yeah, no. I think I'm too. I don't know. Maybe Def- it's because we share the cold slice account and it just suggests <laughs> things. That could be it. That could be it. Yeah, I don't know why it's been feeding me that. Then again, I don't know why it was feeding me. Softcore porn for a while there. I was cool with it. Same reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, why are you only looking at softcore? Softcore and two strokes, man. <laughs> yeah. That was funny. We, had, we have a group chat and Dylan just sent us a text one day. He's like, why is the cold slice suggested reels just two, strike dirt, two stroke dirt bikes and softcore porn? <laughs> It really threw me for a loop, and I had to explain it to Jaden, and she was like, "Sure, sure, it's know, not and, you." And he saw that text too, and I was like, "Look, babe, I don't even have the login, so <laughs> yeah. like, I'm actually in the clear on this one." And I was like, "Whoa, that's crazy, bro! <laughs> How does that keep happening, dude?" <laughs> oh Jesus, have you guys seen that uh, GTA Six is coming? Out? Well, not coming out, but it's yeah, the trailer. I was gonna say they're doing probably the same thing. I actually haven't watched it because I'm too afraid. I get so <laughs> excited. Anything Rockstar. Yeah, like, dude. When it comes out and like been waiting for this. Obviously, I think every kid probably has if they've played the game. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, but I know it's going to be years before it actually comes out. Yeah. Well, not only that, but it's going to be years before it even hits the PC. They said oh, like. Oh, yeah. Even longer for that too. <laughs> yeah. yeah like, by the time year. that game comes out for us to play, we're going to have to like have screen time sharing between us and our kids no shit i know <laughs> <laughs> it looks like real though like it's going to be set in florida this time oh I think. heck yeah yeah Just modern golf carts you're stealing golf carts left and right <laughs> straight up and then i think it's like five times bigger than the gta 5 map which is already it would already take like an hour to walk across or whatever but i guess what ended up happening is uh there's a developer who's got a son and the son was talking the son shared it with uh his friend and then the friend ended up sharing it with the whole world, basically. Oh, because it was leaked, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Imagine being that dad. You're like, I have never wanted to kill my child until this point. Like, <laughs> oh, congratulations. There's not going to be a Christmas this year. Like, yeah. because I lost my job. Like, no, no. <laughs> I don't think he did, but because what are you going to do? I mean, I don't know why that kid got access to that, but mm. also why, why do you just have a trailer for it floating around on your PC? Mm. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Like, that, shouldn't that be in an office I'm somewhere? Like, he was probably, yeah. I bet you they work a lot from home too. Because I think when you're doing, isn't that, isn't that like something that, because when uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 came out, there was all that, uh, all that drama about like the, de- what the developers like not feeling like they were able to have like a good work life balance because they're oh, like, really? Oh, yeah. I was reading up on it. I was like, I don't. I don't care. Get the game done. <laughs> yeah, that's like my yeah. favorite game of all time. <laughs> no, but they were pissed because they're like, dude, we were working like 13 hour days or something crazy like that wow. every day all the way down to, and I'm like, 
you guys have a dream job for you know nerds like us. Yeah, like, you guys are smart for one enough to even make the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now you're mad that you're you're making the world's greatest video game ever, dude. Serious. I mean, I get it. I guess, but like <clears throat> you, uh, just like okay, I don't know. Just to be super clear before I even say what I'm about to say, I have no idea what that work environment was like for Blizzard, but Blizzard went through this thing where it was like the people that make World of Warcraft and, you know, all that other mm -hmm. shit, Diablo. Uh, they went through this thing a couple of years ago where basically the women were like, this is like working in a college, like dorm, like for dudes. It's like a dude frat house basically mm -hmm. in here. And I'm like, yeah, it's Blizzard. It's literally, you're making World of Warcraft. What did you think it was going to be like? The whole time, like, you didn't think about that before? <laughs> like, I don't know. So they went through a whole fucking lawsuit about it. And like, I, I don't know. Obviously, again, I don't know anything about... They yeah. didn't learn to assimilate to bro culture. I guess not. And also, I guess they weren't cool with the sexual harassment. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. Like, come on. Get over yourselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know why you got hired? I don't know. That's just sarcasm for you that don't know. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just to be clear there. <laughs> is it? <laughs> or is know. it? That's we've only had one girl on this podcast and I have sexually harassed her a lot. <laughs> <laughs> also sarcasm. Uh, yeah, so anyway, so GTA 6 is coming out. That's pretty fucking cool. I can't wait. And honestly, I'm thinking about buying a PlayStation just to play it. Is it or, a PlayStation or, yeah. or, No, I'm sorry. Xbox. Xbox. Yeah. Is it an Xbox only thing? Yeah, it's going to be for the first really? year. Yep. Weird. Mm -hmm. that, it just, they, they're like... Has it ever been that way? I always thought you could play it on... No, it's, a, it's pretty much always been Xbox. And then eventually they end up porting it over to PC. Oh, I didn't even know that. I thought it was on mm -hmm. PlayStation, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. Are we talking out of our ass? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Is it on the PlayStation? I, I've never, I was never allowed to play it, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you were never Whoa. allowed to play it. I don't have the same amount of excitement because I still have like shame and guilt for like <laughs> wanting to do that. It's like my porn was GTA 5. <laughs> Your mom comes down and you're like playing GTA 5 and she's like, they're just bodies. <laughs> exactly, they're just bodies, Blake. Because you know, there's scenes in GTA where they're yeah, they're doing stuff. Yeah, I don't uh, yeah. think there's that many though. I mean, in five anyway. You know, the Rockstar game that actually like my mom didn't know was bad and turning me on, but actually was was Bully. Did you oh, guys ever play Bully? When yeah, you could make out with girls uh -huh. <laughs> in the game. You know, I'm I just down here like X, <laughs> <laughs> X. <laughs> That's like the button to hit. To do. <laughs> I never actually play. I played it recently just to try to like. Like, as a kid, I didn't play it, so I didn't mm -hmm. pick up on the hype. But, like, I went to go back and play it as an adult, and I just wasn't as interested. Mm -hmm. I was like, eh. Like, it's not it really It was a really in. cool game for the time. Though. Rockstar is always putting out these games where it's like, do you want to do yeah. super fucked up shit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here you go. I bet it was really empowering for people that were getting bullied because then they got to be the bully. Yes, totally. So it's just they're just making a cycle of bullies. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Uh, I remember when... Like we were getting to the age where we could get away with as long as the parents weren't paying attention. Playing uh, Grand Theft Auto, I think it was probably like Vice City. Yeah, or, that was the best. Or one. like San Andreas was awesome too. Yeah. Um, but uh, I remember one of my friends was like, "I'm gonna have to keep my distance from you." Is he? <laughs> he's like, "Did you know you could do this?" And I'm like, first of all, I don't even know how you figured out you could do that." <laughs> but he would. <laughs> this was like, I think this was like a pretty um, talked about thing. But uh -huh. you could uh, you could pick up prostitutes. Oh, yeah. In the game. Uh -huh. And then your character would like hook up with them or whatever. And, and then you could kill them. And then you could kill them and get your money back. And he's <laughs> yeah. like, check this out. And then he like, he's like, I'm like, well, are you going to, you know, you're going to just drive off now? By the way, I'm sitting here watching him like have his animated character <laughs> hook up with a random other <laughs> animated character. So I'm already kind of like, this is interesting. Uh, all right. Yeah. You know, a car is going like. Er -ch -er -ch -er. Yeah. And then he uh, doesn't get out of the car or anything. The the prostitute does. He waits five seconds, just puts it in reverse. And like, <laughs> <laughs> gets out and gets his floating money back. I'm, I'm cleaning like, up the city. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right. All right, Batman. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that was crazy. That man fucks too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think that game, I think uh, that really awoke in something in me. I don't think I knew what hentai was until Grand Theft Auto came <laughs> out. Oh, <damn>. oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Uh, uh, I have, um, what were you going to say? I was going to say that leaking of the trailer story reminds me of like a similar thing about my dad getting super mad at my brother, video game related. My dad used to be super into video games because like they first like PlayStation 1 first came out when he was probably like in his 
30s, yeah. 40s. Yeah. Maybe. Um, so he was actually the one to get us into video games. Like he would like bring home all the, I don't even remember what the, the early motocross games were called. Uh, I don't remember, but it was like that and extreme like, and bicycling and rollerblading and, um, Crash Bandicoot and Spyro and all those. Fuck yeah. But the one that he, my dad really got into was on the, uh, PS2, it was a game, Jack and Daxter. Yes. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, that was dude. An awesome game. So yeah. My brother and I were really into Jack and Daxter 1, and then we turned my dad on to uh, Jack 2. And nice. my dad just like, with him with video games, was, I don't know, he it was really into it. It was like crack for him. Yeah. It was just like, I'm going to find all these orbs. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a 100 percenter. Like. Yeah, yeah. So he has to do everything fully. And I think we got through the whole game, and my dad was like almost all the way to getting all the orbs in the game. And... My brother just like a little menace, like <laughs> deleted his save file. Oh my god, oh, dude! And I shit you not. That was in two thousand three, maybe. Uh huh. And my dad has never played a video game since. <laughs> <laughs> he just, just destroyed him. He just rage quit everything. <laughs> Could you imagine playing? Honestly, that I would many too. Hours? That that game was hard. To, yeah. I mean, I was still so young playing that, like that. I feel like I didn't fully understand the concept of the game. That was just like basically the first Grand Theft Auto I played. Totally. I just like I just like to run around and steal the different flying mm-hmm. cars, yes. and whatever one that was in. Dude, my favorite part was the hoverboard part. Oh heck oh, yeah, those yeah. were sweet. Yeah. That was rad. I get that though. I really do. I get I get pretty like hyper obsessive when I pick up a game and like mm-hmm. I'm really into it. Like I was telling you guys earlier, I'm playing Hollow Knight right now, mm-hmm. and I for days straight that's all I did was I was just like I just sat there in front of a computer, but. Um, I have a similar story. We used to have a Nintendo 64 and I played Donkey Kong 64. Mm. I had 99 bananas. <laughs> like, I don't know if you guys ever played that game, but Donkey Kong 64, you have to collect these golden bananas, right? Okay. And like to get to, to get to the real ending, the real final mm. boss ending, you have to have a hundred. So I had like 95 or 99 or something like that. And my mom used to like babysit as a job because she had mm. she already had kids, you know, so she just did it mm. as a daytime job. Well, one of these little shits who I, I actually know his name still, <laughs> uh, he my mom was babysitting him and he ended up he's like, I wanna play, I wanna play. And so my mom was like, All right, let him play. He gets on there and he deletes my profile. Oh my god. Oh. And I fucking lost it. I think I I must have been like nine years old or something like that, but you choke hold him. <laughs> yeah, I tried. <laughs> I'm sure I tried. <laughs> when I was uh, deeper into my video games and single, um, I uh, had like just recently moved back, and I set my Xbox up in uh, my dad's garage. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like super, super into Forza Horizon. Oh yeah, dude, because um, it's an awesome game. You Absolutely, know? so much fun. You're like, oh, this is a dream. I can drive all these cars. I'll never be able to actually drive. <laughs> uh huh. Um, and I basically completed the game, and I spent so much time saving up, and I bought the most expensive Ferrari. It's like mm-hmm. the La Ferrari or whatever it's called <laughs> yeah. in the game that you could get, and it was freaking beautiful, and it looked so cool, and it was so fun to drive, and. Um, two of my buddies came over and we were drinking beer in the garage. Uh-huh. And uh, I was like, yeah, do whatever you guys want. Go ahead and play it. Because the game had like, like I put in hours immediately. Uh-huh. Like the game was still <laughs> relatively new when I was at this point. <laughs> yeah. And I was so stoked to show them that car. So I like mm-hmm. pulled it out. And I was like, yeah, you guys drive whatever you want. I'm going to run inside really quick. And I came back out and they were just like dead silent. Um, oh, and they're like, yeah, God. you can play whatever. And I'm like, okay. So I grab it. And like thinking back now, I could see like this little bead of sweat coming down their head. <laughs> because that game is they need to like correct the way that they have some of the phrasing in it. Mm. Um, Cause there's like take out of garage and then there's like get in vehicle. Uh-huh. Oh. Um, and oh, no. by the way, I bought this. So it decimated all of the money I had in the game. I had none left. <laughs> um, and uh, I guess they had tried to take that oh. car out to drive it. Yeah, let's take they it out took, of the garage. Yeah, but you, you lose, you don't get any money for oh, it because no. they didn't sell it. They just they like just removed it from it. the garage that or whatever. Sucks. And uh, yeah, they were like, they didn't tell me for like a few days what had happened. <laughs> like, we don't know, man. Yeah, and I was like, son Switch. of a bitch. <laughs> I hate you guys. Yeah, so I stopped playing that game. Uh, it was like that time that uh, I accidentally cracked your windshield and I didn't tell you for like months. Oh, yeah, with the kayaks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, I was so confused. I, I think we cracked it like 
two two different. This is my front windshield. We cracked it like two different times yeah. on that trip. And I was like, how the fuck did it spider web like that? And you're like, I don't know, man. <laughs> That's <laughs> crazy, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Dude, so <laughs> I just um, I was trying to. <clears throat> Are you guys the type of people that reminds me of like just a concept? Are you guys the type of people if you break something or if you like maybe mark up something permanently? Are you guys the type of people to just like let it slide if if you if no one notices you'll just be like put a pillow over it or something? Uh, or, or are you the type of person to like immediately share? Now that I'm an adult, I if it's something like like Jaden has this glass from her grandma, it's like a glass plate. Mm-hmm. And every day I think about breaking it because it's just it's like, I don't, I don't know. It's just it's, an intrusive thought. It's special, yeah, it's like an intrusive play. thought. Like I'm never like, going to do You're like, this means a lot to her and her family. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah, laughs> like, yeah, Totally. So if it, if it were something like <laughs> yeah. that, I would absolutely like tail between my legs, just try to hide and like hide <laughs> I the fact what that happened. I broke it. It was the cat. <laughs> I'm just, I would just be like, I don't know where it went. That's crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody came in here and they found that plate and stole only that plate. I swear. <laughs> yeah. You're like, making a whole like crime scene out of it. <laughs> yeah. So am I that kind of person? Yeah, I guess I am. Yeah. I didn't think I, I was. But. but those are the types of situations where they only happen like, honestly, like once a year or like once, once a year. I don't know, maybe longer, but, or maybe more often. I'm just saying like, they, they don't happen enough for you to like consciously work on that about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> they come up at right. different points in your life where you've maybe grown or not grown. <laughs> and then you're like, maybe I wouldn't have done so well on D-Day. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to stop. Uh, like there was a period and I was like, am I a rough player? Like, mm. I don't know. What? Like like toys or whatever. Like yeah. when I was a kid, like uh, I'd go over to my friend's house uh, and I swear, like I just had this luck where everybody was playing with whatever the fuck it was. Uh-huh. But as soon as I touch it and nobody's looking, it just crumbles in my hand. You're a rough player, man. Yeah. And I'm like, shit, I broke another fucking thing. And I got to tell these guys that I just broke their shit. That I always told them, but then I'm like, I think uh, because I did, it got to the point where I was like, I'm just not going to play with anybody's stuff anymore. Like, <laughs> I'll let everybody go. else have fun. And I'll just stand here. <laughs> you mm-hmm. self-corrected. Yeah, I had to because I was like, I don't have money. <laughs> like, I'm a kid. <laughs> I think I figured out that I was a rough player, like in the sense of like wrestling. I think I knew that early on. Like, did you? Because I feel like it took you years to come around <laughs> with the idea. That yeah, you, you just stopped chokeholding girls specifically <laughs> six months ago. <laughs> yeah. Let's clarify here. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't just all out on the street. <laughs> He's like, you're next. <laughs> yeah, no, this. Yeah, no, just it, wrestling. Like, but uh, I, I knew that from like an early age. I was like. Because my sister and I would wrestle, and mm. so I grew up in a like yeah. a girl household. Oh, okay, so you're just like it's cool to hit girls. Yeah, <laughs> like why not? Yeah, who cares? You know, they're just girls, dude. Yeah. They're equals, bro. <laughs> yeah, you want to be equal? There we go. If you're a real feminist, you hit women. <laughs> for for a few years, uh, we have these really good friends, and they 100 percent were like actively trying to wrestle Dylan as well. Yeah, but one of them is a girl, and she's a, a pretty dang good wrestler, actually. Yeah, she's <laughs> I've pretty noticed strong. over the years. Yeah, she can hang. Uh-huh. She likes to win. Um, but yeah, but yes. she like you know they'll have a like a beer or two and then all of a sudden they're wrestling super aggressively uh-huh. <laughs> so we always made jokes it's like dylan likes to wrestle girls yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> just so everyone knows that yeah, like- he's not actually out here like you're you're next pamela i'm coming for you <laughs> right <laughs> or whoever i love those wrestling nights more than i should uh, me too man i love it a lot <laughs> i say that in a tight onesie <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I say that in a tight ones, y'all. I was like, we up. might have to blur you out on <laughs> screen, actually. Where's my wrestling singlet? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, God, Damn. man. Um, yeah, so I've broken more things than I, and I, so my whole thing is like, if I feel like I can fix it before someone finds out about it, I will absolutely totally. attempt to do that. Yeah, me too. Like my, my last ex, I was, I had a tonsillectomy. So I just like was spitting all the time, like recovering. Yeah. I didn't like swallowing and I like just had this spit. Are you sure? Am <laughs> I sure I don't like swallowing? <laughs> you walked right into that one. My bad. You're not a quitter. <laughs> I'm not a quitter, no. I like to I like to succeed. <laughs> Very successful in that regard. <laughs> Jesus. All right. If you know, you know. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so I have this spit cup um, and I was, I think I fell asleep in bed with the spit cup next to me. You're making me puke. Yeah, uh-huh. and it fucking dumped all over oh. her sheets and her mattress. No. 
<laughs> and, uh, and I don't know. You guys forget I can't I can't do any sort of like saliva, dude. I don't care. Anything else is fine, but like I can't do snot. Or I can't. Oh shit. Oh, uh, it was just oh, like shit. this. <laughs> I'm gonna make Anthony throw up. It's just this, this is like my, my worst nightmare of a conversation right now. <laughs> it's just this bowl of like bloody saliva. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bloody saliva, and you know, like when you have a tonsillectomy, they cauterize your thing, so you get the one with white shit in there. You're like, Anthony's <laughs> 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 yeah, hey, gonna you. fucking throw up, dude. Okay, so, <laughs> the sheets are soiled, dude. My eyes are watering. <laughs> the sheets Fuck. are soiled to say the least. I need you to still cut it, dude. I can't do that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it doesn't help that we so, all had some drinks last so night. Disgusting. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop leaning into it. But Holy shit! Did they plug my ears. <laughs> basically, I was like, if I can just wash these sheets before she gets back, oh. then then it'll be good. <laughs> um, I, I I put it through the whole cycle and everything, and I I uh, I put it back on the bed, but I didn't. I was like making the bed as they came home. <laughs> and uh, they were like, "What happened?" I was like, "Nothing, nothing just making the nothing. bed." Just like, just thought it'd be nice to have some clean sheets. <laughs> like bullshit. This place is a fucking mess in here. <laughs> We're sleeping on rocks. <laughs> yeah. So I tried to like lie about it, and it didn't go over very well. And then I came clean. Ugh. And then they threw a hissy fit. They're, they're like, "This is my bed. This is where I rest." <laughs> what the fuck. It was weird. Your ex did? Yeah. It, Dude, it, it yeah, turned he, into... He, there were a lot of red flags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That one was it turned shit. into, why did you not just tell me about it to, like, this is my bed, my sacred place. Jesus why did Christ, you, dude. Like, why did you accidentally have an oopsie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a loser. Not you. Yeah. But I, I shouldn't have lied about it. I, I no, should, what the fuck? But I also, no, like, shouldn't it. have... There, what was the right thing to do there? Was I supposed to send them a text being like, <laughs> not, I, I, I just you're like, spilled my spitty what, cup? Yeah, they're your, like... This is where me and my ex sleep. Yeah. <laughs> like, how could you? My ex and I still sleep here. All right. Is that okay? This is sacred. Dude, that's a weird thing for her to get mad about. For sure. It was weird. Wild. But then I also like I've I've broken like my mom's like special wine glass that she got from a friend and I just hid it in the back of the cupboard. I, know, I still don't know. She it just broke it on its own. <laughs> um Yeah, dude. Uh did you have some? You have a story for no, that? I'm still trying to no. right. collect myself. <laughs> Got it. Like one time we were playing a game at this friend's house. And we had this permanent marker, and we were writing on stuff. And I accidentally like permanently uh, sharpened uh, their couch, uh, and oh. I totally just like sat on that part of the couch and put a pillow over it the whole time. <laughs> That's the way to go for <laughs> sure. I mean, I I'm right there with you though. That that phone that I stole that I was telling yeah. you guys about in the last episode, mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't have said anything. Like yeah. obviously I was a kid, but like. You know, yeah. yeah uh, I'm trying to think. I know I've done it many times, but I feel like I've came clean uh, because there was just no way for me to fix whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I was the last person in the vicinity where <laughs> whatever it was. If I can't I think of any off the top of my head, though. If I don't have to, I won't come clean. I mean, I'm a I'm a, I'm a pretty honest person now as an adult. Like I just don't like keeping lying or keeping secrets or anything like that anymore just because like, we're adults every ep every episode of this podcast makes me trust you less and less <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> i've changed a lot but it's a christmas episode boys yeah. so i in the spirit of fucking saint nick mm. um am emanating big nick energy right now <laughs> saint nicholas <laughs> yeah i got you guys some gifts uh whoa don't look at them yet i didn't yeah not yet uh, not those ones. I got you guys two gifts. I'm not trying to look at your package. <laughs> well, you or can all see yours. So, <laughs> yeah, we can all see mine. That's true. <laughs> so, the first, the, both the first round of gifts, it would not be the Cold Slice podcast without what I'm about to give you. Hold on here. Okay. Dylan's reaching behind. Anthony says he's not drinking right now. But oh, got Blake. the big boy Coors <laughs> Banquet. Oh, Anthony, this you can set this just in front of you, I guess. This one's for me. So I stopped drinking soda a long time ago, <laughs> but uh, this is sparkling caffeinated water. Right. <laughs> Anything is... to get that fix. Yeah. Anthony and I were slamming these last night. The Coors yeah. banquets? The classy ones in the glasses. Whoa. <laughs> I actually don't even like those beers. I don't know why we keep getting them. I get them because uh, you guys like them. They're like my favorite. Yeah. I like, yeah. <laughs> I like Coors lights, but anyway. We can switch to Coors lights, less calories. 
yeah. probably be easier to fit in the onesie. Totally. I know I've said I um, am trying to lose weight. Mm-hmm. How's that going? And I am, but... Uh, you're trying or you're losing weight? I'm losing a little bit a little bit of weight. I lost about five pounds recently, <clears throat> but... You're all that muscle, though. It's heavier. That's, yeah. So that's kind of my thing is like, I you know, go to the gym during the work day every day, right? Mm. And so, but I also haven't changed up my eating habits very much. Mm. So like the other night, I had a can of chili with some rice. So okay. I don't think that's good for me, but <laughs> like... You know, at least I'm going to the gym. So now my new plan, instead of trying to lose weight, is uh, I'm just going to try to look like I lift heavy stuff all the time. Yeah. Like those guys that lift the Ardblair stones. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the numbers <laughs> don't matter. It's it's not about losing weight. It's about looking the way you want to look. Yeah. And I will never look skinny just because of my frame. Like I just, that's not like look at our, you look pretty uh, hot in that video you just showed us. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that was yeah that was uh, oh, fuck. How, like old, how old how old were you that was eight nine years ago uh i was 18 18 <laughs> yeah i was 18 or 19 Come so on, tell the story <laughs> yeah okay all right so so back in the day uh i really wanted to be an actor right so before I, you wanted to be a stand-up comedian before i wanted to be a stand-up comedian and before i wanted to be a dj <laughs> Every six i'm just, just a new thing yeah i'm just i'm trying to find new ways to really disappoint my dad in particular <laughs> you know <laughs> that's why i keep a job too so mm-hmm. you know it's like, whatever but uh so back in the day i wanted to be an actor and so i went out and i you know portland's not the best place to do that I, I think people have known that, and I just mm-hmm. thought it was going to be different for me. So I go out there, <clears throat> and um, I get an agent, and he gets me a couple of gigs. I was on a show. Uh, I did a couple of commercials, and then I ended up doing this music video. So I fucking show up to this music video. I get a text, right? I'm also working two jobs at the time. I'm working. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm working at Dutch Bros and the airport. Mm-hmm. And this was years ago, so it's just... You know, right out of high school jobs. <clears throat> um, but you're jacked at this point because you're uh, throwing luggage all day. I'm looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm looking pretty good. Going to the gym all the time. Uh, doing a lot of coke <laughs> at the time too. <laughs> so <laughs> smoking cigarettes. I was on the New York diet. You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it works for them. Yeah, <laughs> like I got the two jobs. I got the coke addiction. Yeah, <laughs> somehow I got like a weird methy fat body though. Like <laughs> I still looked pretty good, but it was odd. Uh, so anyway, I get this text message from my agent and he goes, Hey, there's a gig. Uh, I want you to show up to, and obviously he's taking 10%. So he's mm-hmm. like, show up to all the gigs I give you. Mm-hmm. And so I go, yeah, okay, great. Where is it at? And he tells me where it's at. So I drive down there and I get there. He, he just explained it. He was like, it's just a music video. It's going to be fine. And I was like, okay. So I get there and there was a guy that I knew from one of the commercials, another actor. And I was like, Hey man, what's going on here? And he's like, Oh, it's a music video. He's like, did you bring the right underwear. And I was like, <laughs> what? I was like, what are you talking about? And he's like, dude, this is a music video where we all get like naked, basically. He's like, you're going to be in your underwear, but even then you don't have to. You can be completely <laughs> naked. And then I was like, I don't have the dick for that, man. <laughs> and he's like... <laughs> These are three-day-old underwear. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, I'm going to need a fluffer on set. But... <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yeah. How hard am I allowed to get? <laughs> because even then... Because I'm a grower. Not impressed. <laughs> yeah, you keep this Otherwise, room look like cold. a turtle. <laughs> yeah, dude, seriously. Look like somebody punched it. Um... <laughs> Suck it up inside of you. Yeah. It's Jeff fresh out of the pool, but we're not in the pool. <laughs> mm-hmm. So he's like... He's like, oh, yeah, did you bring the right underwear? And I go, no, man. I brought whatever underwear I brought What that I'm wearing right now that I've been wearing for 12 hours, by the way. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I've been up all fucking I night, bro. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, so he goes, okay, I brought some spares, which is weird. <laughs> I don't know why he brought spare underwear. Bro. Oh, you put on another dude's underwear? I sure did. I sure did. <laughs> yeah, you want to guess the cut on those? <laughs> European <laughs> cut. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no. yeah, dude, they were... Nice. They were high up on my thighs, mm. for sure. Did you have a testy hanging out? Uh, it was close. It was <laughs> close, man. Little cheek going on. Because this guy, he was like a thinner, way more muscular guy. Mm. Like, And so, like, he looked like he should have just been an actor, like, from the from birth. Anyway, so I get there, and, like, it's this whole thing, and we're talking to the director. The director's talking to us, and we're all spread out. And, like, knowing what I know, and, like, I had a feeling um, I parked myself next to the most attractive girl in the room, which was mm-hmm. not a lot of them. So mm-hmm. I just was like, all right, I'm going to sit next. I'm going to hang, I'm going to hang out next to this girl. And they had us all in a lineup. And at this point, my shirt's off, my pants are off. I'm in European cut underwear. And the director goes, okay, so if you guys want, uh, you can take your underwear off. 
just be free. Like it's going to be this whole thing, whatever, you know, you're going to eventually you're going to end up, uh, if you're comfortable with it, kissing the person next to you. So like uh, at this point at 18 or 19, I'm like, this is as close to Harvey Weinstein as I'll ever get. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Uh, like, just that guy's not even recording. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like, yeah, there you it's go. Close to high school, spin the bottles. You're gonna get. straight up. So, and it was just like this very free movement, like free, be free kind of thing. I, you would have loved it. I think you would have like fit right in, oh, dude. No. <laughs> so we get to the part in the music is your, video where is your it's like still working. Huh? Is your agent still working? No, oh, no. no. I tried to look him up like a couple years afterwards. He's nowhere to be found. He just took a couple hundred bucks from me and ran. But uh, yeah, we get to this point where they're like, kiss the person next to you. So I, the girl and I kiss. And then I look over and it's a dude next to me. And I'm like, no, man, I can't do it. And he's like, that's okay, me neither. And I was like, what are we doing here? What the fuck is going on, bro? And then you guys are doing one of these. I don't know. I don't know. Do you want this? Or? No. Does no mean yes? Yeah, right. He's like, did you also borrow underwear? <laughs> so we get to the very end of this music video that's being shot, and somehow I found myself in, and it's this body pile, basically. Super weird. They ended up, there's a shot of me in there, and they ended up, they covered me up because I have a Batman tattoo on my chest. You can see it a little bit if you look close. You, yeah, well, that's, that's um, yeah, they did a still shot of me, mm -hmm. which is probably the best headshot I'll ever have in my life. It looks good. It does, <laughs> it looks really good. I look, I look good even now. I look good here up. Like to my shoulders and up, anywhere down there. What was your What was over. your favorite phrase? Like right when we first started hanging out, you're like, "No, we were oh, because we had just started going to the gym." You're like, uh -huh. "I don't know if it's gonna work for me." I was like, "Dude, the gym works for anybody that just fucking goes." <laughs> you're like, "Well, I'm kind of built like an ice cream cone." Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, shit. You had traps in that pick. It looks good. Yeah, I I got a Mac. Anyway, so it was just this weird fucking music video. I don't know what the hell happened, dude, but. That was insane. Your quote was, it was the gayest thing I've ever seen, and I've kissed three dudes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> two kissed. of them are at this table. Yeah. <laughs> just in case we haven't gone over that, <laughs> just for all my family or whoever's listening. No. Not gay, all right? <laughs> Not gay. But uh, yeah, there was a Christmas party, got a little drunk, accidentally kissed Anthony, and then I felt like I had to follow it up. Blake felt I left got out. jealous. Yeah. <laughs> and then I forced, I yeah. forced myself on it our It was one of those friend. like, hey, I got to tell you something. And we were both too close. So when we turned, we had like a little peck. <laughs> and I was like, what just happened? And Dylan's like, I don't know. <laughs> Did that awaken <laughs> something in you too? Yeah. <laughs> you want to do it again? And Dylan's yeah. like, it's the spirit of Christmas. And he's running around. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> freaking, Shirts what is it, off. Holly or mistletoe? Missile, missile <laughs> yeah. St. Nicholas strikes again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was fucking nuts. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know where we're at, but uh, you guys got your gifts. I got you another gift. Hell yeah. Another one. Horror's Banquet and another gift coming. Yeah, sure do. <laughs> uh, if you guys want to pull those up to the camera, mm, whip it out. go for it. Yeah, let's let's bust those babies out sure, in the buddy. spirit of Christmas. So for our audio only people, we have a stocking that says my name on it, yep. written in very nice handwriting. I did not write that. Was that Jaden? That was Jaden. Jaden that was like, like Jaden handwriting. Yeah. Here, let's pull those bags up. Those are oh, good yeah. bags too. So we, we've got stockings that say our names on them, and we got a. Oh yeah, those are oh sweet. nice. We got a cool Christmas bag. Fishing you a mm -hmm. merry Christmas. Fishing you yeah. merry Christmas because we like fishing. Yep. Bill and I went kayak fishing. We caught nothing. Nothing. <laughs> but we had a good time. Yeah. Did we? Just we? Ca caught it. Caught we a did. buzz. We did. We that did. Time, that time we did. Yeah. Yeah. I got majorly sunburnt. Yes, for and sure. I don't think I had a good time. Once we got home, no. because all your entire family was like, play a song, play a song, play a song. <laughs> You're sunburned. We're still out sunburned. in the sun. I didn't catch any fish. I'm starving. <laughs> you took a nap, I, I think. I took a nap. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what else oh, we got? Funny. <laughs> Bust them out. Let's see. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Oh, that's oh, it's a sippy cup. Oh my god, look at that! It's a Christmas <laughs> tree. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty this sick. Good. You know what's gonna happen is Emmy's gonna steal this from him immediately. Yes, hundred percent. Dude, I am going to bring this to your Christmas party and get drunk on it. Absolutely, you should. You should do that for the listeners. It's a um, Christmas tree cup. So yeah, and it has a cool lid on it. That's a twist off and a straw. Yeah, <laughs> for sucking. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the explanation on that part. <laughs> we got one more. Uh, one more thing. It's also here. got like a rubber seal, so the straw doesn't leak. There you go. You can That's do handstands nice. with it. 
Yeah. <laughs> you do handstands with it. <laughs> nice. I got you guys both one more thing. Okay. Well, two more things, but there's only one more in the bag. Oh, it's got a bow on it. Oh my god! Oh, check yeah. it out. It's a gingerbread baseball cap that's fuzzy and it has like a. Oh, this is awesome! Yeah, isn't that fucking Dude, I love fantastic? This, man. This is great. I'm going to wear it right now. I know. I'm like, I probably should switch hats out now. Absolutely, you should. So uh, let's describe this for the audio only people. So it's basically a gingerbread person hat. (laughs) Um, Genderless, I would say. (laughs) Maybe it's a girl. I don't know. It's a person. You can't make assumptions. (laughs) Yeah, don't don't assume gender. Um, But it's got eyelashes on it and like, you know how sometimes when people wear makeup, they'll put like rosy cheeks. It has that, but Peppermints on the cheeks <laughs> and a smiley face, and it's fuzzy. And I'm putting it on right now. Yeah. So I got you guys that one, and <laughs> oh god, this will be good for the Christmas party too. Absolutely. This there we great. go. <laughs> oh, and you got your own. Yeah. And I got my own. Oh, Dylan's got a, a Santa one. <laughs> it looks great. It's also fuzzy, and it has Santa. And a big, like a clown nose on it? Yeah, it's that's, like a red nose it's on like it. like a Rudolph nose. I don't really get like it. Santa. He's, he's got a sick mustache, though. Yeah. So. Remember when we were all into mustaches? Yeah, are we not anymore? There's nothing wrong with the mustache. No, we are. We're still into them. I just remember when we all had them. Yeah. Mine looked like shit. I didn't think so. I thought you looked good with oh. the biker stash. Thanks, buddy. Like handlebars, kind of? Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> it was inspiring. Yeah. I I, dude, people at work were like, when are you going to shave that? Like, straight up. Like, you know how some people are like nice about it? They're like, yeah. oh, look at that mustache. Nope. They're like, <laughs> you shouldn't shave that. It's a hard split down the middle. On some people are like, yeah, dude, what well, you, you just do? gotta own it. Whatever, whichever you have to way have you the go. Confidence for it. Yes. Uh, one more gift. Oh, what? Now that we're all Christmased up, um, to go in those cups. Check it out. Got oh, fucking- you got us some Tito's. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother! I did forget mixer though. The one reason I went to the store this morning, I forgot mixer. Mixer with, mix it with oh, no. beer. <laughs> Anthony brought sodas. Yeah, you guess you can have some of that. Well, do you got another one? Nope. I thought you brought two. <laughs> no, that one's drank gone. That one. <laughs> said, oh, really? Yeah. He's all sugared up. Yeah. But you guys, we can split this. Yeah, or we can do shots. Uh, <laughs> why don't we mix it with uh, Our ears caffeinated is... water? <laughs> okay. <laughs> water and vodka. Yeah, it's lemon lime. Why not? Oh, okay. Sweet. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Why don't we do this? Why don't we do this in between episodes? Okay. Yeah, so, I think it's going to be a whole fucking production. Yeah, yeah but, I think so. Yeah, we'll take a break. Merry Christmas, boys. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Thank you, Dylan. Uh, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Dylan course. is one of the best gift givers we know. <laughs> yeah. He always does it when we're not expecting it to. That's why my gift is on its way to you from Amazon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll get it in July. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's on its way. It's just severely delayed right now. Yeah. <laughs> Was it last year or two years ago that Dylan built Anthony a computer? Oh, I think Dude, that was you guys last year. both gave me like the craziest <laughs> yeah. gifts that I'm like, I don't know how to pay you guys back don't. for this. <laughs> no, no. The whole point was that you, you can't. I was like, here, yeah, here is a beer. <laughs> Here's a beer. <laughs> but this one was made with love. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so, yeah, I, so this is what happened. Anthony's birthday is in September, which is close enough to December. So it was like a, a both like a birthday and a Christmas thing. Dylan built. Anthony had a really nice PC. Nah, it wasn't that nice. Okay, it was a, a, it's a it was a PC, it's a full gaming computer. Gaming, so. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. It was a pretty pretty nice. nice gift. And then I saw that, and I got jealous. I, was like, Dylan, <laughs> I knew is, it. Is Dylan a better friend than me? <laughs> 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 so I bought Anthony a Taylor acoustic guitar. <laughs> yeah, which how much did you spend on that? <laughs> was, I was like, I don't want to know. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say. I put it on a payment plan. <laughs> oh God, no! <laughs> but it was zero percent interest. So <laughs> that I, was like I paid it off by now. <laughs> yeah, I had a. I was like, damn. I have two obviously really good friends, but I'm also like, how the fuck am I ever supposed to get them gifts to top right. this? I don't know. That was a, that was crazy. I had that PC left over from because I got I built a new one, so I was like, yeah. you know, I'm just gonna give him this one because he's got nothing. So, uh, yeah, I didn't spend any money on that. Oh, no, I thought you did. No, no. I was like, Dylan's really like. <laughs> Nothing, He's going to be his best man. <laughs> <laughs> Neither one. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. It wasn't about that at all. It's just funny. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what the fuck? That was a weird year. <laughs> it was a great year for me. Yeah, I'm sure you really benefited <laughs> off that one. Yeah. Well, it came out of nowhere too. I was like, thank you. <laughs> thank you again. Like, like, how the hell am I supposed to oh, compete with that? Oh, didn't man. didn't need to. It was just a gesture. Yeah. After all I bet years of- all of our other friends probably were just like, what the fuck, dude? Like, <laughs> and we didn't get them guy? anything, I don't think. <laughs> like, is there something going on we don't know about? <laughs> yeah. Are those guys banging? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, uh, this has been a shorter episode for sure. Uh, we're going to make this a two-parter, just like the last one. Um, just because the month of December is pretty crazy for the rest of, for all of us. I mean, I'm sure for you guys too. So um, thanks for watching. Um, check out, I mean, I don't even, the Patreon, there's really nothing up there for you guys to look at. If you want to contribute. Just support us. Yeah, if you want to support us, that's a good way to do it. It's $5 a month. That's um, patreon.com slash the cold slice. Uh, most importantly though, please share our videos. I mean, we have a lot of listeners already, just like we said in the last couple episodes. Uh, we are growing every episode, which is awesome. I mean, it's fantastic for sure. Mm-hmm. And we love you guys. I mean, we appreciate the support, but uh, please share our videos. That's the best way you can help us out here, really. So Subscribe. Yeah. This has been The Cold Slice. Merry Christmas. The Cold Slice.